we are. Okay, wait, I have to have some more. What the hell? Okay. Ready? My hair looks messed up. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Sisterhood of the Scalpel. I'm Dr. Miriam Zamani. And I'm Dr. Julie Kana. And this is a very special episode and it's very near and dear to our hearts because it's the capstone of the of October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And it's really important to recognize that although we do dedicate a month to recognize and spread awareness about this really horrific disease that's quite rampant actually, we do need to acknowledge that this is a lifelong process and that you need to be aware of it 24 7 365 even though we do take a month to wear our pink ribbons and spread awareness and honor everyone who is battling breast cancer and all the survivors out there all right so what are the rules for self-breast examination because a lot of people are doing doctor's appointments with their family doctor virtually i'm going to tell you it's look listen and feel look at your breasts we avoid the mirror don't do that breasts are beautiful they're really great they're functional just look at your breasts and look for changes and they mm -hmm. may be but look for them listen to your body if something doesn't feel right don't ignore it. As women, we're terribly notorious for taking care of everyone around us and not listening to our bodies. And feel. Set a time a month. Do it every day. In the shower, soap on your hands. Cop a feel. If it feels different, if it feels new, if you're not sure it was there before, just ask. It doesn't hurt to ask. And it can hurt to ignore. Don't do that. Dr. Zamani, should they be afraid of a mammogram? They absolutely should not. So the key message here is that if you did receive breast implants before the age of 50, before you're, you started getting these reminders from the from um, Health Canada and the Ontario government to go for screening, remember you have to have that close relationship with your family doctor to start screening, typically at the age of 50, sometimes sooner, depending on your family history, or if there's something that we detect that's abnormal. So make sure that, some, that you yourself are being your own advocate and you do remind your family doctor that you are not going to be necessarily receiving these letters if you've had implants sooner. And then on top of that, it's just you shouldn't be afraid of having mammograms regardless of whether you have breast implants or not. Yes, sometimes they can be uncomfortable. There's a little bit of stretching and pushing and squishing and all of that, but we're women. We're resilient. We can take anything. They're all um, uncomfortable. They all are. <laughs> we're used to that. We can take it, right? Fight like a girl. Um, but when it comes to breast implants in particular, I know a lot of people are worried about the amount of pressure that can be exerted and whether that can harm the implant. I always tell patients that it's a really fun way to kill up, you know, 10, 15 minutes of your time is go and YouTube all the different ways that surgeons demonstrate how you can try and destroy it implants and how resilient these things are you know i've seen them being dropped from top of buildings cars driven over the stiletto I I I on top of them. over it too dr z Yeah, there we go. So there's lots of videos out there that just try and demonstrate that these are uh, these are quite resilient devices. Now, it doesn't mean that they're forever. It doesn't mean that they can't rupture. But it is so much more important to be vigilant about your breast health because let's say worst case scenario, there is, you know, something happens to the implant. That is an easy surgery. We can help you with that. We are here for you and we will always support you with that in terms of whatever that needs. It is going to be much easier to take care of a, any kind of implant issue, which is quite rare to happen after a mammogram, than missing that appointment for fear of hurting your implants. And I want to remind everyone, if you have implants, your implants are behind your breast tissue. Even if they're in front of the muscle, even if they're behind the muscle, breast tissue is in front. So you still have to look, listen, and feel to your breast and figure out if there are any changes. And be I love what you said, Dr. Z. Be your own advocate because it's your body. Take care of it.